Good morning. Welcome to Great Transition Strategy, Monday morning standup. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to help make you a more effective leader. Today's topic, executive presence. I'm Gary Slyman. As an executive coach, I work with high-performing leaders to help them build their self-awareness, understand how they lead so they can be more effective and love what they do. Before I get started on executive presence, happy Labor Day weekend. Last, so the unofficial end of summer. Hope you had a great summer. Hope you have a great, hope you've had a great weekend. Most of you are taking a look at this after the long weekend. So hope you had a uh, great, happy and safe Labor Day weekend as we celebrate our workers. All right, executive presence. Why am I doing this? Why? And I've done something like this before. Executive presence is one of those topics that I get on a regular basis from high performers. They come to me and either they've gotten some direct feedback Hey, you're not presenting the way you need to. That maybe they're working for a promotion and saying, hey, if you're going to be promoted, here's what you need. You need to look and feel. You need to show up more as a leader. Or maybe they got promoted and they feel they're not doing as well and they've gotten direct feedback. Or their sense is, I'm not doing as well as I need to. I don't, I'm not happy with the way I'm doing this. And they're sensing the feedback that they're getting. Okay, so I'm going to give you kind of a framework of how I coach through this. So you can work on this, think about working this for yourself. So first, off the top of my head, or off the top of your head, who is someone that you know that you work with or have worked with who shows great executive presence? Who is it? So put that person in your head. And I ask you these three questions about that individual. When you think about that individual and maybe you're in a meeting with them or you're in some kind of interaction, how does that person make you feel? Emotions. What are the emotions? How do you feel? Oh, glad they're here. Happy with them. Oh, um, I feel relaxed that they're here. Stressed. Two, what what behavior do they get from you? What behavior do they cause in you? Oh, I'm going to listen to them. I'm going to be okay when they, if they're presenting. I'm going to listen because they're always they will always do a good job presenting. Okay. Last. So first, you, feeling, actions, and then the last one are. What you thinking? Once you leave them, what are you thinking? Oh, I need to be more like them. Here's things that I need to do. So those are the three things I want you to think about. One, feel. Next, behaviors, actions that, that you take. And last, thinking. What are the things I'm thinking about? So for you, let's think about you and the presence that you want. If you want to define, hey, I don't think I'm doing as well, well, let's think about these three, three areas about your presence. Number one, and I'm going to say, think about these three categories of people. One, seniors, people you report to, peers, colleagues that you work with, and subordinates, those that you lead. Think about those three categories. Now, your presence, you might want your executive presence to be the same for every one of them. It, I think it might be nuanced and a little bit nuanced for each of those categories. So pick, pick one of those categories, and let's kind of walk through it. All right, so let's suppose you're with colleagues. So with colleagues, how do you want those colleagues to feel about you? Oh man, am I glad she is here today. That's great, she's running this meeting because she's really succinct, she gets things done. Um, she includes everyone, she's very inclusive and we don't waste any time. So there's some feeling that you create. So that's one thing. Next, what do you? what's the behavior you want of them? Oh, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna engage, I'm gonna help. I want them, so what do you want out of them? Maybe you want engagement, maybe you want them to help, be critical of what's going on. All right, so that's the behavior you're looking for. Last, what do you want them thinking? What do you want them thinking when they leave? Well, I really need to figure out, maybe I really need to figure out how I can get her working with my team. I need to bring her over and use what she's doing. I need, I think we can contribute. I think we can work together. What do you want them thinking about? So go through those three things. Those three things are, how do you want them to feel? What are the emotions you want when they think about with you? What are the actions? What are the behaviors around you? What are the behaviors you get out of them? And what do you want them thinking about you? So that's one way to frame, hey, here's my presence. So if you think about now your presence with those individuals, I told you, this is what you want. What do you think it is right now? So you could evaluate, this is where I am in those three areas now. This is what I want it to be. That's a way to approach your executive presence, how you show up for each of these categories of people. People you report to, colleagues you work with, those that you lead. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. See you next Monday morning, 8.30. Hope you had a great Labor Day weekend.